Hi, viewers and students. Now we see some more new concepts in the chapter sets. The first one is null set. What is null set? Another name of uh, this null set is void set and also it is called as empty set. Null set, void set, empty set. What is the uh, null set? The set which you do not have elements is called null set. The set which you do not have elements is called null set. Children, I think you have understood. That means null set has no elements. Can anybody say an example for null set? Okay, see. Natural number, set of natural numbers which are less than 1. Children say elements in this set. Can you say the natural numbers less than 1? Anybody? Oh, good. Why? Excellent. Natural numbers are started from 1. So, when we try to write the natural numbers less than 1, we can't write anything. So, when we try to write the elements of the given set, we are not finding any elements. So, it is the example for empty set. Set of natural numbers less than 1 is an empty set. Let us see one more example. Integers between 4 and 5. Set of integers between 4 and 5. Children, try to say integers between 4 and 5 what are the integers dash dash minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 dash dash positive integers negative integers and 0 this is the integer set what are the integers between 4 and 5 can you say no why 4 and 5 are consecutive integers after 4, we get 5. In between them, 4 and 5, there is no 4 and 5. There are no integers. There are so many. There are infinite number of rational numbers, decimal numbers. But in between 4 and 5, there is no integer. When we try to write the elements of the set, set of integers between 4 and 5, we can't get elements. So this is also an empty set. Let us take one more example in set builder form. X such that X plus 2 is equal to 0, comma, X belongs to capital natural number set. See, try to write the elements of this set builder form. X such that how X is? X satisfies X plus 2 is equal to 0. We have to take natural numbers in place of x. Can you say by taking a natural number in place of x, we get x plus 2 is equal to 0? If you take 1, first natural number, 1 plus 2, not is equal to 0. If you take 2, 2 plus 2, not is equal to 0. Whatever the natural number you take, x plus 2 will not be 0. You may take an integer minus 2 in place of x, then minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0 satisfied. But here x is the natural number. When you try to write the elements of this set, you can't get any elements. So this set is also an example for null set. Let us take one more example for better understanding. x such that x not equal to x. This set is example for null set. Why? Children say, let us try to write the elements. x. How x is x not equal to x? Huh? The element itself are equal. x is equal to x1 is equal to 1, 2 is equal to. Can you say any element which is not equal to itself? Every element every number is equal to itself we cannot find any numbers or any elements or any objects which are not equal to of itself 
so this is also an example for empty set and null set is denoted by phi r null set may be denoted by just curly bracket without writing any elements we can see the symbol of null set on the screen now we go for the another concept in the sets universal set children what is universal set means universal set is a mother set for all the sets derived from it universal set is a mother set for all the sets derived from it we can understand universal set by an example see suppose set of all students in our school is the mother set is the universal set if we take suppose the sets derived from it may be set of 6th class students set of 7th class students set of 8th class students or set of students who are interested in english set of students who are interested in science set of students who are interested in telugu set of students who are interested in maths these are all the sets derived from the basic set or the mother set what is that mother set set of all students of the school this is the mother set and universal set all these sets set of 6th 7th 8th class students set of students interested in english maths science or maybe set of uh, students uh, which are who are uh, interested in cricket set of uh, students of kabaddi team set of students of uh, chess players these are all the derived set from the mother set set of all students in our school so this is the universal set suppose we can take total all the people of telangana may be the universal set if it is the universal set what are the sets derived from it set of uh, urban people set of rural people set of uh, bc people set of uh, sc people set of oc people set of st people these are all the sets derived from set of people of telangana so this set of people of telangana is the mother set or the universal set these are all the derived set from it this is the concept of universal set in further when we write the universal set we use a rectangle in this rectangle we write the elements of the universal set and one more thing here is universal set is denoted by a particular letter mu mu is used to denote the universal sets sometimes we write universal set by capital u also this is the symbol for universal set you can see the symbol on the screen now we see one more thing in the concept of sets that is subset see children subset mean subset is formed by taking as many elements as we wish from the given set subset is a set formed by taking as many as elements we wish from the given set this is the definition of subset we can understand a subset by taking an example suppose you take a set capital a a b c d these are the elements in set a see on the screen a is equal to a b c d you can form so many sets by taking the elements of set a suppose i form a set capital b is equal to a comma b capital b is equal to a comma b this set is taken from set a a comma b elements are taken from which set set a so by taking some elements a and b i formed a new set capital b i form 
another set C. C children, capital C is equal to D comma E comma F. D comma E comma F. These elements are taken from which set? The set A. So we formed set B and set C by taking the elements of set A. You can form so many sets by taking three elements, four elements, one element. These are all the sets formed by taking the elements of set A. So now we can say set B and set C are the subsets of set A. Here A is the bigger set, B and C may be the smaller sets. Now you see B and C are the subsets of set A. There is a particular symbol to write the subset. You can see the subset symbol on the screen. Okay, now by using this symbol, you write the subsets. Children, here, which is the subset of A? B. B is the smaller set, which is derived from set A. So we can write B subset A. And also C is subset of which set children? A. C is derived from set A. So we can write C subset A. Like this we can write. We can form so many subsets from the given set. These are all the subsets. Children, one more thing here you have to know is null set. I am not taking any elements in this set. Is this subset of uh, set A which we discussed uh, so far? Yes, as many elements as we can take and form to write the subset of the given set. Now, I am taking a null set. That means I am not taking any elements. So, null set is also a subset of set A. And we can conclude null set is the subset of each set. Null set is the subset of each set. You have to remember this. And see children. In the last example we discussed it. Capital A is equal to A, B, C, D. The definition of subset is subset is a set formed by taking as many elements as we wish from the given set. Suppose I take a set with all the elements of set A. That means A, B, C, D. This is a another set. This set is equal to the first set A. So, this set which I formed is a subset of A. That means what you understand from this discussion is every set is a subset of itself. A subset A, B subset B, C subset C. From all this discussion, you have to remember two points. Null set is the subset of every set and each set is the subset of itself. These two points you can see on the screen.